Okay, continuing on with the bike example, uh, we're going to do uh, an activity-based costing example. So on your left, you see uh, the bicycle, and on the right, you see another bicycle, which is a mountain bike. So what we're going to do here is to take the fixed cost, again, the same as before, is 125000 and we're going to split these up between uh, bikes. So if we look at the uh, example here, the road bike, uh, again, we have $500, 500 monthly sales. Again, the price per bike that's charged to bike shops is $1,000. So my total revenue is $500,000. A variable cost, again, are $600. And the contribution margin is $400 per bike. Okay. And then um, overall, is $200,000. For the monthly sales for the mountain bike, let's say there are 250 bikes that are sold per month. And we'll say that the price per bike here is $1,500. And the variable cost per bike is $1,000, yielding a contribution margin of $500 per bike. And then uh, again, an overall contribution of $125,000. Now, to allocate this fixed cost, what we want to do is to do so based upon the the number of sales okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take one third of the fixed cost so what we can do we can just say uh, this fixed cost and we're going to multiply that times um, the fixed cost oh, excuse me the monthly sales for the bike divided by the total monthly units okay and it gives us eighty three thousand dollars okay so that's two-thirds roughly the cost of the fixed cost okay and then we do this over here so again fixed costs times oops, oops. the ratio of the bikes Okay, and so what we have here now is that my total fixed costs are $83,000 and per bike that ends up being $166. So my net income per bike is $233 for the road bike and the overall net income for road bikes is $116,667. For the mountain bikes is $333 per bike and an overall <clears throat> net income of $83,333 uh, for mountain bikes. But the question is, is this accurate based upon the level of activity of overhead costs? So we're going to imagine that we have two overhead costs, shipping costs and customer order costs. And they are $45,000 for shipping costs and eighty thousand dollars for customer order cost to make up of our to make up our one hundred twenty five thousand dollars, and let's say that the activity is just the total number of bikes. Okay, so it's five hundred plus two fifty seven fifty. So my cost per activity is the cost forty five thousand divided by the total number of bikes. So it costs approximately sixty dollars per bike to ship. Then we have customer order costs. Let's assume that there are 100 road bike orders. So 100 bike shops make orders, okay, for bikes. And then there are 200 mountain bike orders, okay? So let's say our total activity is 300 orders. And then the cost for orders is 80,000 is the cost for people that make orders, the service orders, all that cost is rolled into the $80,000. So we're going to spread that across the 300 orders for the month. Okay, so we just take 80,000 divided by the 300 orders. So every order costs approximately $266.67. Okay, so if we want to properly allocate this, we want to scroll down. So the same information goes for the sales per unit, the price, the variable cost, the contribution margin, etc. But if we charge $60 for shipping, we want per order, we multiply that times the 500 orders 
Okay. So again, it's 60 times 500. That gives us me my 30,000. And we take this 266 times 500. Okay. Excuse me, not the 500. I'm sorry. That is a mistake. So it was per order. So we have 266 times 100 road bike orders. So it's 26,667. So my net income per bike is down to $73.33. And the overall net income is $143,333. Okay. So if we do the same thing for mountain bikes, again, it's $60 per bike is $15,000. So again, 60 times 250. And then we take the number of orders, which is 200 mountain bike orders times the order rate, which is 266.67. So there's 53,000. So my net income per bike, so again, my contribution margin, less shipping, less customer order cost is $440. And my net income overall for bikes is 56,667, okay? So if we compare net income, so if we look at the overall traditional net income, which is 166,000 for road bikes, versus activity-based costing, it's $143,000, okay? And then if we look at mountain bikes, the tra traditional costing um, is $83,000, okay? And under ABC, it's $56,000. So basically what this is saying is that when costs are allocated based upon activity, net income changes. So in this case under um, ABC, road bikes are the thing that we want to sell more of because, because they make us more revenue, okay, versus ABC, so um, cost for mountain bikes. So we see an increase, so there's a shift um, in revenue. So we're saying that road bikes were better in the beginning, but they're even better um, and generating net income under the ABC method as opposed to traditional costing methods. So that's the basic overview of activity-based costing.